Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India everybody this is dr vishal trivedi from department of biosciences and bioengineering iit guwahati and in the previous lecture what we have discussed we have discussed about the electrophoresis and how you can resolve the samples onto the electrophoretic gels and now once you dissolve the electrophoretic gel the proteins are going to be separated as per their molecular weight and now they are going to give you a pattern but the protein itself does not have their intrinsic uh, uh, color so these these proteins uh, bands or these protein uh, samples are going to be stained with different types of stain and uh, in in a in a polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis you have the different choices of different uh, staining uh, dyes which you can use uh, so you can use the comasi billion blue r250 the comasi r billion 2 is a non specific dye it does not it only specific for the protein but it is not specific for a particular type of protein but the advantage is that it is a simple step procedure detection uh, limit is within the range of 0.1 to 1 microgram per protein band. Then we have the colloidal uh, comasi billion blue R2 R250 solutions. The, the colloidal solution has the 5 to 10 times more sensitive than the normal comasi billion blue solution. And um, other other advantage is that it does not require any destaining step. Then we have the silver staining. The silver stain is 100 times more sensitive than the comasi billion blue staining. It is not a simple staining procedure, but and as on the other hand, it is incompatible with the downstream um, mass spectrometry uh, applications. Then you have the cybro ruby. The cybro ruby is a mass spectrometry compatible dye. It is sensitive up to the 1 to 2 nanograms per protein band. So it is very sensitive and it also is uh, compatible with the mass spec. So suppose you are resolving a complex biological sample and you would like to identify some of the proteins to using the MALDI, uh, 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 MALDI um, uh, or some other kind of downstream applications. So you can use the Cybro Ruby. Then we have the Cybro Orange. Uh, it is sensitive up to the 4 to 8 nanogram per band and then you have the Cybro Tangreen. It is also sensitive up to 4 to 8 nanogram can be used to detect the blotted protein bands. Now in a standard staining procedure what you have is you have a dye solution and this dye solution can be used to stain the dye. So, uh, so in this particular uh, staining to explain you the staining procedure what we have done is we have taken a staining procedure with the comasi billion blue. So for that what you need is you need a page gel which contains protein band then you have you need a comasi billion R250 stain solutions then you need a de-staining solutions. De-staining solution is methanol, acetic acid and water and then you need uh, the plastic or the glass container with the lids and you need a shaking platforms. What you are do, supposed to do is you remove the polyacrylamide gel from the electrophoresic unit and the place in a place in a plastic container with 10 volumes of the Comasi billion blue R250 solutions. Then you uh, mix them slowly onto a platform for uh, uh, half an hour to uh, one hour. After that you discard the discard, uh, staining solution and wash the gel with the triple distilled water and then you add 8 to 10 volume of de-staining solutions. You uh, mix them or you uh, mix them slowly onto a uh, shaking platforms for another half an hour to one hour and as a result what will happen is the de-staining solution is going to remove the dye and that is how it is going to give you the staining of the protein. 
and if the color of the destaining solution is intense blue, replace it with the new staining solution. So, you can do this destaining procedure on multiple times and that is how you are going to see the appearance of the bands. Now, once you do the staining, what will happen is after you stain with the Kamasi Billion Blue, what will happen is you will see a black color film, your gel is going to be converted into this black color film. But once you do the destaining, what will happen is the dye is, is a non-specific dye. So, it starts absorbing everywhere onto your gel and this adsorption is very, very weak in compared to its adsorption with the or its binding with the protein molecule. So, when you put it into the destaining solution, the destaining solution is going to start removing the dye from the gel solution, gel, uh, gel uh, block and but it will not remove the gel from the places where the protein is present because the affinity of the dye for the protein is more compared to the affinity of this particular dye for the uh, for the uh, gel uh, monomers or polyacrylamide monomers. So, as a result when you do is de-stain the dye which is present in the uh, gel will come out and as a result you will see a pattern. Once you see a pattern, you will going to see a image. This image is actually having lot of informations. It is have information in terms of uh, how many bands are present, what is the position of these bands, what is the concentration of or what is the amount of this protein is present. But this image analysis is also very, very complicated and that is why the image analysis requires different types of softwares because every image has the uh, a lot of informations uh, and all this information, the processing of this information requires the sophisticated uh, softwares. Uh, you can see that if you have a gel image like this, what you what you have to see is that what is the what is the distance of this particular protein from the well and what is the amount of the protein present. And all this information is you have to gather from the different lane and that is why people have developed different types of software to analyze this. What you have is you have the vision work LS or docket LS which is actually from the UVP corporations. Then you have the total lab series which is from the non-linear dynamics. Then you have the gel pro or image pro which is from the media cybernetics or you have the NIH image which is actually from the National Institute of Health and so this is actually a free software uh, which is available from uh, uh, NIH. NIH is a funding agency which is present in the US. So, you can actually download the NIH image uh, and that is actually will be useful for analyzing the substances. Then you have the Melanie or the image master which is from the Expasi and then you have the image master which is also from the G healthcare. So, when you would like to analyze a image for the uh, uh, and you would like to deduce lot of information, you also have to follow a de definite steps and these steps could be different for different softwares, but the basic principle remains the same. In what you have to do is in the step 1, you have to detect the land position. The first step in image is to identify and mark the lane positions which means you have to select the lane uh, and then there are different way to do this task. For gel with the well defined bands, automatic lane detection algorithm can be used to detect the lane. If the bands are smiling or not straight, then a manual positioning and the identifying lane is the best. There is a necessarily consideration while doing manual positioning, the bracket used should be large enough to cover the whole lane, but it should not wide enough to include the bands of the other lane. Which means, if you have one lane and you have the different bands, so if you have the discrete bands, you can use the automatic mode to select the lanes. Okay? But if these lanes are merged or you have the smiley bands or some kind of uh, resolution problem, then you have to manually select the bands. But when you do a manual selection, you have to ensure that you select the bands with the proper width, but it should not be so big that you are selecting the bands of the, you, you are selecting the different, uh, separate band also. Once you selected the band, then you have to have the detection of the band. 
when the lane is defined the protein band in the lane can be defined by systematically scanning lane profiling and identify the region of the local uh, maxima as band then the step 3 you have to have the background subtractions the background play a important role in identifying the protein band as well as the measuring the band intensity the background of a gel picture is non uniformly distributed and made the measurement less accurate many methods of background subtraction are possible in one of the method a replica image can be generated and then digitally subtract from the original image to correct the background so the background is very important if the background is very high or background is very low that actually is going to decide what is the uh, shape of this particular band and what is the intensity of these bands because all the intensities are going to be calculated based on the background so if the your background is very high the image analysis is going to be less and less accurate more important is if the background is non uniform which means in some lane it is uh, lower side on a lower side in some lane it is on the higher side so because of that uh, you will be having a difficulty to cho choose what background i should subtract and in those cases if you go with the higher background you are actually going to cut the signal from the uh, protein which are cl closer to the uh, lower background uh, signal and so on and then you have to do the measurements so step 4 you have to, once the lane and bands are defined it is possible to perform the quantification and characterization steps the amount in each band is quantified in comparison to the background information and the total intensity present in all pixel present in the band if the known amount of the protein sample is loaded then a calibration curve also can be drawn and that calibration curve can be used to uh, to calculate the intensity in your band uh, explaining you the different steps of image analysis using a separate software we have prepared a small clip which actually will allow you to see all these steps which we have just now discussed where we are selecting the lane we are selecting the bands then we are telling you how to measure the intensity how to measure the position of this particular band so all these we have prepared in a small demo in this particular uh, clip what we have uh, we we have discussed uh, the technical detail as well as the steps what you have to follow in this video we will show you how to analyze a particular band of interest from sds or agarro uh, gel electrophoresis gels using image lab uh, software so here uh, i will show you how to open the image lab software and how to analyze different components so you have to go to uh, start and type image lab so it will open uh, you need not to do anything just this is uh, we are using new protocol so just have to go first i will show you how to uh, analyze the uh, protein gels so this is uh, our gel image so this is the molecular weight ladder um, first row and last uh, lane and these are the fractions so we want to analyze uh, what are how many different bands are there first component and uh, what is the intensity of these bands and what is the molecular weight so i will try to show one by one first after getting the image or you can get from uh, you can open any image lab dot scn file from instrument so go to here on left side top panel you can see image tools so if you go there uh, there are different data you don't want to see complete picture so just uh, you can crop crop the image and um, like this
just say crop so this is the uh, complete image and uh, go back here after that you have to identify how many bands are there how many lanes are there just leave this to uh, software it will do automatically or in another way you can select manually also so let's see uh, how it will perform so click on lanes and bands so lane finder here lanes either allow the software to detect or you can do it manually so if i ask for uh, automatic uh, so it will see you can see when there are uh, lanes given on the top of the gel 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 10 so this is something different or if you want to do it manually also you can do uh, suppose if you want to do enter number of lanes how many lanes are there so 10 10 so here you can adjust lanes see this is not fitting in the completely so you have to adjust like this to get complete lanes now you can see the lanes are completely adjusted uh, fitted in uh, fitted in the lane completely so this is another way uh, manual way so next uh, now after identifying the lanes you have to go to bands how many bands are there so you allow the software to detect the bands so here few options are there band detection sensitivity one is low uh, low means uh, better for most prominent ones so detection sensitivity low if you are keeping it low sensitivity then it will detect only prominent bands which the software can observe based on intensity otherwise you can do another thing uh, select high high intense uh, high sensitivity means it will select a faint bands also as you can see it, it has risen there or you can manually select sensitivity so uh, i am asking high uh, better for faint bands see how it will do see these many bands are there each and every single band it will be detected although some of here are um, left out but you can still manually add the band so if you want uh, only prominent bands so in that case you just select low which is better for prominent bands so these many bands so now question comes you don't want to uh, calculate uh, molecular weight or intensity values uh, that is um, uh, quantification for all these bands either you can keep these bands selected by software or you can remove so for deleting suppose if you want to add some particular band suppose here i want to add this band uh, bottom of this lane so just go add just it added another extra band so uh, if you want to delete some bands so you don't want these many bands you want to only calculate for this prominent bands you just go to delete you just keep on doing till you get satisfactory uh, bands okay this way you can do so you can add also so after being done this uh, we have first detected the lens and uh, in second we have detected the bands now it's time for uh, calculation of or molecular weight analysis so here the tricky part is you have to select the lane which lane you have loaded uh, the molecular weight marker so i am selecting the first lane and the last lane okay 
so it automatically came automatically it came so if you are using your gel of interest so in that case what you can do is you need not to worry about you just have to give your molecular weights suppose this is a randomly taken uh, by default it has taken biorad precision plus you can change this one also this pattern you can change also suppose uh, you want to add some new protein molecular weight standards you don't have this biorad precision plus you have loaded some other thing but you know what are the uh, first band appears on top to uh, lower bottom band so if you know you can add new just to go new standard or you can give the name suppose i am giving new molecular weight standards something x x y okay some company's name so after that you have to add each and every band suppose first one uh, i'm just uh, giving these values only for convenience purpose 250 and the second band is 150 it need not to be these values whatever your choice of marker is you can give those values those kd values you need not to worry about what it has written it will automatically disappears and third band is just uh, say 99 and fourth band is uh, 78 and uh, fifth band is 47 sixth band is 36 uh, seventh band is 22 eighth band is 19 ninth band is 14 this is 12 and uh, last one is you can keep uh, 8 this is just for example purpose only this is not actually any standard molecular weight marker just for your understanding I am giving this one after uh, giving the molecular weight you just click ok and you select ok yes you want to it is asking you want to apply yeah yes i want to apply so see here here this is the uh, molecular weight what we have selected see here new molecular weight marker xxy so here you can see what we have given is it is coming as it is so the next thing is you have to calculate molecular weight of these things okay so you just need not to worry about anything and you just go to analysis table so here analysis table it will give for each and every lane details with proper uh, band percentage and uh, lane percentage suppose in uh, first lane it corresponds to uh, first lane lane 1 it corresponds to uh, molecular weight see uh, from lower weight higher one so what are the values different values and uh, absolute quantity this we will see in uh, uh, next part and band percentage how much percentage it is uh, these things uh, we can see so if you want to calculate suppose in lane 2 you have you have lane 2 in lane 2 this is the fifth band i think so it will give uh, what are the molecular weight so this is starting from bottom band number uh, this is one to fifth band i think so fifth band means 
on top fifth band is 87.4 kd See, this is 78 we are calculating for this one this is almost comes 87.4 kda and the relative front is 0 0.187 uh, uh, so in this way you can uh, calculate molecular weight of the uh, your band of interest so this is all about molecular weight you can save this thing and uh, export uh, this result to uh, a new excel sheet so after being done this now we are moving to quantity tools so quantity means uh, you, you know you have loaded uh, something uh, uh, what amount you have loaded in this uh, lane if you know that thing we can calculate uh, remaining uh, lanes uh, quantity how much we have so there is uh, two parts one is relative quantity select a reference band on the gel so you have to uh, select one reference band based on that it will calculate all the bands uh, relative quantity but it does not give any value suppose I am selecting this one this is the um, reference one so automatically it will calculate the remaining remaining proteins uh, lane 3 this is uh, lane 2 so it will calculate automatically relative quantity it is taking one for this reference one so based on this uh, it will calculate all the bands uh, relative intensity suppose if you say this is one what could be this uh, for uh, band one it is uh, 0.59 and uh, band two 0 0.15 0 0.15 uh, 0 0.06 0 0.07 so in um, other lane three also uh, that band is this is fifth band so lane 3 band 5 that is molecular weight 7 the relative quantity is 0.89 so this is one if you are saying this is one this one is 0.89 so in this way you can calculate relative quantity and you don't want this you know some number suppose uh, how much uh, protein it is present in this one so in that case you can go to absolute quantity at least you need uh, two to three uh, bands so see I am selecting this one okay this is a uh, I am saying this is the quantity of uh, uh, fifty nanogram and uh, I am selecting this quantity of uh, 65 nanogram and I am selecting another one this is 25 I mean automatically it gives so you just uh, take your mouse pointer to any band you want to calculate uh, the quantity actual quantity so you calculate you can click on that one it will give automatically 72.214 uh, nanograms you want to calculate this band so you just keep that one it will give the value you want to calculate this one it will give uh, the value so in this way you can calculate absolute quantity of the any given band in the gel so you can export these results or uh, you can save uh, from this one also so after quantification of the uh, protein uh, lanes and the bands you can use this for uh, annotation also so you can go to annotation tools suppose you want to uh, you want to indicate this band okay you just uh, give the arrow mark uh, otherwise you want to show this band so this is also another way uh, 
you can take this as screenshot or you can save as a picture with uh, with these things uh, with annotation tools you can add text also suppose you want to add text here you just add something uh, suppose lane to like that lane to band uh, 5 okay so this is the way uh, how the analysis can be done using image lab software so uh, this is about all about proteins so now you i want to do uh, the same analysis for the uh, nucleic acids suppose dna so just go so you have uh, now you have dna so all the parties same uh, as compared to uh, proteins so you can go to image tools for cropping uh, you can crop it or whatever the part you want to keep you can keep that one and say crop after that lanes and bands so it is exactly same protocol for uh, proteins and nucleic acid also it will detect the bands low better for prominent bands i am saying i am asking like that okay so after that it detected lanes and bands also now you can go to molecular weight analysis so here also either you can give your choice of interest uh, molecular weights you can give uh, and you can create new and add the values this is here nucleic acids molecular weight base pairs so in this way you can give or you can use one that has given in uh, already given in the software so as you can see this is already uh, this is depicting here what is the base pairs amount of each lane so here also this is same so the next thing is after being completed you have to you need not to specifically look into uh, what this band corresponds to you just go to lane 2 values this is the lane 1 this is lane 2 only single band we are uh, predicting that belongs to 78.6 uh, base pair value this is uh, in lane 2 so as you can see this is 80 and here it is coming this is 78.6 uh, base pairs so in this way you can calculate uh, the molecular weight of the uh, nucleic acids also and uh, the other part is quantity tools you can quantize uh, the dna also so here also same in case of uh, uh, protein analysis here relative uh, relative so you have to select one band suppose i'm selecting this one based on this it will uh, calculate the all bands um, uh, relative uh, intensity relative quantity or you can select a band standard one and uh, this is quantity this band quantity i am saying it is as 30 nanogram so another band at least we need to this is as uh, 10 nanogram after giving two values you can click any band suppose this one 39.92 this one 55 and this one 
63 this one 64 so in this way you can calculate the intensity or uh, absolute quantity of the uh, any given band you can use annotation tools also by giving arrow or showing uh, representing graphically also you can do same thing and you can export the screenshot also so you can save these things and you can export here the export options are there you can do exporting also so uh, i hope this uh, software information part help you to uh, understand the how uh, software can be utilized for analysis of uh, different bands and uh, molecular weight purpose or um, quantity quantification purpose in this clip we have discussed all the steps and i hope this uh, image analysis uh, uh, demo could be useful for you to analyze your protein gel samples as well as it may help you in advancing your work thank you